Welcome back to our channel. Hello, Fortnite family. <laughs> it won. And, and I am bent as a cheap fork. <laughs> oh. I'm just kidding, I'm actually happy. The Fortnite family is so beautiful. It's so welcoming, it is a lovely thing. And I'm still gonna have t-shirts made that say designated fonts. <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> PM me for more details. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so, how's everyone's Fortnite been? Yeah. Really? You're gonna do that? <laughs> Great, good to hear. <laughs> it's a thing. It's now a thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> what an awkward <laughs> start. <laughs> we have stuff to show you today. Yes. We have, we have... We have some FFOs, we have some whips, and I think he might have a new start. We have some haul and ish stuff. We got a, a stitchy, stitchy kindness. kindness. We bought ourselves something that we want to show you, and um, oh yeah, <coughs> we're gonna talk about Fortnite fabrics at the end, mm -hmm. as per usual. And at some point in there, never mind. I <laughs> <laughs> You know what I was gonna say, yep. don't you? I already know. It would have been weird. It would have been weird. I'm not ready. What do you want to do for? I want to do FFOs because you've worked really hard like the last couple of weeks on getting your finishes done, and I'm super excited. Over for the past them. couple of weeks. Yeah. In the last three hours. I mean, <laughs> Actually, it was a lot longer than that. You did I was a about lot. to say, it took me forever. Noah had a bunch of finishes today. He did. He finished so much faster than I did. <laughs> it was like a finishing race. <laughs> it was. Do you want to show yours first? Well, I only have one, and this is like, I don't want to say it's like the Magnum Opus or anything, but Fine. it's really not. Nice. I'll show mine first. <laughs> so the first one I finished today, I made a little pillow ornament. Precious. Of this Halloween piece I stitched. Um, I added that little charm. Cause it's a little like sock and boot, like it's so the cute. whole thing. Um, obviously, I added that ribbon. There's that. This is the back. Look how it's small that pillow is. It's a little pillow. <laughs> I rest my head. <laughs> so that was a finish. I actually really, really think that's adorable. Are we um, having a Halloween tree? Did we discuss that already? We did. It's um, the second ornament that I finished. It looks like this. It's my ghost. The clear ghost. <laughs> um, I uh, He's so I added a little ghost charm. Um, this is actually I put a couple layers of batting, so it's kind of mm -hmm. thick. Um, this is this is just some wired ribbon, and then the backing piece. That's so the cute. fabric I did. I really can't wait for this tree to come to life. So that's that one. Even though it's gonna be black. And then the final ornament I made was one witchy way, and it looks, it looks like this. They look stunning. <laughs> That's what it looks. There, there you go. go. Turn that down. Oof, that's yeah. Much so that's the pattern. I added this little cauldron charm right there. It's this little cauldron. It's 3D. Sits on the ground. <laughs> Just some little, you know, bats and embellishments. <laughs> Just a few. And then I put this lovely ribbon, put this pumpkin here in the middle, hangs like so. We have a little door hanging. I too. love this one though, it's I'm cute. Obsessed. It's kind of large for an ornament, but I'm living for it. <laughs> the the backing <laughs> fabric looks like that. Oh yeah, that was like one of my favorite ones. That orange though. Mm. And I love this ribbon because it looks like a little like film roll. It's Can you see that? I that. <laughs> oh, I love it, this is the same ribbon that I did the top loop. Yes. I love that a lot. Actually. Okay. I can make a whole costume. That was my little ornament. my little ornament finishes. You wanna I also finished this. He did. But I this is for it's shit. the first time I've done this too, so it is I made show it. I'm ready. <laughs> a pillow. I made is a freaking pillow. So this is the um, He picked the fabric. All Pies Day Gnomes from Jardin Privé. Beautiful. Um, I stitched this this year. I'm literally obsessed. And let me show you the backing of fabric. It's little mushrooms. <laughs> Dear Lord. <laughs> I can't even contain myself. 
So this is the front. And look at the, look at this, this scene work. Why did you show that scene? That's the bad scene that oh, I was really? so. <laughs> well, look at that. It looks look, really it's good the for first, your first one. I mean, I had to trust you with my life. And that life. was <laughs> like, it was just right here. But I, I tried the invisible stitch. It's not too bad. No, it's really not. Not like I'm really, I'm, it's a decorative pillow. I'm gonna throw that out there. It is, this has got to sit somewhere, but <laughs> I don't so think cute. it's too bad for my first pillow. It's quite- It's chunky. Mm -hmm. Can't sleep it's on that, It's a chunky pillow. <laughs> I love this pattern. He was so proud when he finished this piece. <laughs> so we made something nice with it instead of just like a flat finish or yes. something. It's, it's, it's he too. picked out this fabric too. I did. He picked that out. I was so proud that of him. That was Hobby Lobby actually. I yeah, think. it came from Hobby Lobby earlier this year. I shall be crucified later for that. <laughs> <coughs> Those are our uh, our four four, four FFOs. FFOs. <laughs> and we have I don't know where my FFOs mind is. <laughs> outside on the back porch somewhere. Uh, uh, do you have any whips you want to show, Derek? Yeah, because I only have two. Oh. <laughs> I worked more on Jardin Privé, <laughs> Cat Lovers. It's gorgeous. Um, I was working in this area the last time you saw me, and this is where I'm at. So is that the last time they saw you? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so I did all that flower, you did. and I did this flower, and maybe that flower too. Mm -hmm. I don't remember, and then I, I've started this next mo motif with the blue. You are moving. That's coming I mean, together really nice. I like those colors. Those blues I do. go very well. This is all done um, with anchor floss. Yeah, but that coverage. If you want my conversion, just significant. Just ask. Whose conversion? I'll give it away. It's mine now because I'm stitching it. Oh, okay. That's how that works. That's how that <laughs> I guess works. Yes, we all still conversions these days. <laughs> Anyways, the next thing I'm trying to work on this quite a bit, but there's a person out in the universe that doesn't stop calling. And every time, every time he calls is when I'm trying to stitch on this. <laughs> every time. And I don't get very much done. <coughs> Noah. <laughs> and this is what I'm working on. Little alien schoolgirl. And I'm still right up here on this first page. <laughs> I finished this spaceship and I'm working on this next motif. It's, that's how big it is. There's just some little more dots. I it's a full put. inch now. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> this needle minder is new. It is. It was sent to us. From someone who shall not be named yeah, as well. Yeah, they, they don't want to be named, but. Do people not like to be associated with us? So? No, <laughs> just some people don't, like gift giving is not for the credit sometimes. I and I get that. I'm perfect, it was a joke. But I do like it. <laughs> and I've, I've left it on the hoop because I'm again gonna try and work on this tonight. We'll see. <laughs> oh my God, before you show yours, can I show something oh, tragic? Yeah, please do. I meant to show this. I almost cried for him actually. So I, I did do these FFOs today, right? And so if you see that, that fabric, I did, I had an eighth and I was working on another part. So try and keep up with me here. It was an eighth <laughs> yard. <laughs> You got it? You got yeah. it? Okay, keep up. <laughs> it was an eighth yard. So I I had one project on half and then I just did this little piece on, it was working on the other half of the fabric. I cut, I cut this part off today, fabulous. And then I set the rest of the fabric down. And I don't remember which one was next, but I picked up one of the next ones to like cut the pattern, like the extra fabric away. Well, I didn't realize, like, I had set it down on top of the other half, right, of the gray. I'm following. And I was cutting, and I didn't realize I picked up the gray fabric while I was cutting. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And mm -mm. this is what happened. Chop, chop. I cut, and it's like it cut up through the pattern there. And like there was another half of this scene that was gonna happen, and there was more to happen down was that here. Was modernist? Yeah. We have that. We still have I still have the pattern. pattern. I was gonna finish it. I loved it. It was so beautiful, and that tragic happened. So. I mean, you cut way in there. Like, yeah, I didn't <laughs> realize like it until. It, oh, it's not at all, because like there's yeah, so, so much stitch. pattern. I cut mm -hmm. that stitch. I cut through it, and there's so much more pattern that goes like. 
Maybe if you stitched it, you could stitch it back together. I'll just restart it, but <laughs> it was a major loss for me today. We I'll had a little funeral. We, we rose it from the dead to show you, but now we're going to... Back into the grave. A.K.A. the trash, trash can. can. <laughs> Is that all of your whips, my dear? Yeah, that's all I have to show. It'll become Make It the Christian show now. It's not. I was just... I had some time on my hands. Maybe I should just go away and we should replace me with Noah people to actually have stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> you two have a lot to show and I always have like three things. So for September, <laughs> Sampler September, I pulled out a few projects. <laughs> um, I started out with this one. This is the Teresa Kogut um, Pet All the Dogs, but I'm doing the conversion, which is Hug All the Cats. And this is on a Verdigree Agar. No, this is on Stinkhorn actually. And this is the needle miner that I got from the person. <laughs> Isn't it adorable? Oh my God, I love it. So I was working on the house, this gigantic house, and I did one full row there, and then I did these two lines and I'm going back across. So this will come back out at some point this week or month. I haven't made up my mind yet. <laughs> it's an undertaking, that house is. It's, it's a big house, one color. You're just going, but you yeah. should use that when you don't want to think. And I you just want some mindless my stitching. RuPaul's Drag Race. Like tonight. <laughs> yes, mindless. That's the key. That lives in the bag that it's in. <laughs> my other sampler that I took out was Ink Circles, Squirrels of Sumatra, because why not? It's beautiful. I'm loving and this piece. I I'm finally, loving it. I'm getting into the second page, like pretty good. I'm almost all the way across the top. Um, but that is. And so I've on. done all of this motif here from here over. <laughs> Stop it, Derek. <laughs> He's tickling me um, on the other side there. Um, so yes, this little motif here is what I have done for this girl. And this is on moccasin, by the way. It's from Boho Desert. <clears throat> that Boho Desert Yeah, you know, this collection. is why I don't have any finishes, because these projects are so big. I know. Oh my gosh. I've, I've actually things. recently <laughs> undertaken a lot of large projects myself. I need to get some smalls out. Yeah, this is a semi-small. Um, this is my go-to-work project, but it's been really, really busy lately, so I have not had but like maybe 10 minutes a day to stitch. Um, and it is the Ink Circles, Elemental Dragons, Earth, Hold that a little longer so you can see it. But you've seen it like a thousand times. And that is on Verdigree Agaric, I believe. And there it is there. So I'm working on this little bottom part here. And it's going to basically look just like these two. But I'm going down now. So the last one just came out, um, the fire one. So I have that on order. It should be here this week or next week. I'm not really sure. Super excited about that. And my last whip is not a sampler, but um, I was stitching it with someone else. <laughs> so we're both doing our uh, mirrors as uh, color women. I'm doing it because I like Tiana from Princess and the Frog. So there she is, Ella the Frog Princess from Mirabilia. And pause. You're in the middle of a story. I can't entertain them. I got, I'm back already. Okay. <laughs> so I'm doing that on, I, sw I restarted this um, this week because, or last week, I can't remember. Um, I had done her on Ada, and the iron, I told you, like, burned the fabric, so here she is, restarted, and I'm working on her face for the most part. I'm almost done, I just have to do her lips and the back stitching and, like, a few more little stitches here and there. Um, but I did make a needle minder out of this. It is adorable, and I love it. Oh, nice. shaky, shaky. Focus. Focus, my darling. There's too much to focus <laughs> yeah, on. Yeah, it is. There we go. But it's a little Black Lives Matter Tiana, so that oh, goes wow. on this Touch project. Me. I'm glowing. And, oh, look at you. You're bronzing on me. <laughs> I love it. I so didn't do my face today. Is all of my whips. Oh, did you not? Is that everything? That is everything for my whips. I believe. Yeah, that's all. You have any new I guess for coming up or plans for the week? Yeah, I was going to say what my plans were real fast before we got into... Um, Oh, Stitchy awesome. Kindness and Fortnite Fabrics. So because it is Sampler September, I will continue to work on Little Alien Schoolgirl. Um, I might put some work into, I guess this Quaker kind of counts as a sampler. I might, because I actually am loving this. 
I might do some work on that. And my new start, that I'm gonna start this tonight when we get off of here, <laughs> is by Brenda Gervais, and it's the Adam and Eve. Literally. Sampler. <laughs> <laughs> this is the pattern he picked out for me to do when we went to the cross stitch store in DC. I did. <laughs> so I'm gonna start this tonight, and it's, it's, he was just talking about how um, him and Noah are, they're doing the skin conversions for their Mirabilia. Mi mm -hmm. Oof. That came out. Say it. Mirabilia. Thank you. <laughs> this seems weird to me tonight. I'm not doing a skin conversion on mine, but I am going to do a skin conversion for this um, Adam and Eve. It also might become Adam and Steve. We don't know about that yet. We were discussing. But I'm going to do, lots. I'm going to do a skin <laughs> conversion on them. You know, that is kind of more representative of where life began and in our home <laughs> and um what was i gonna say so we're going to see him on october 1st yes. we're flying to tennessee With we're gonna mask on from we're gonna be there from the first till the fifth and then we're all gonna stitch on our skin conversion pieces because i'll have one because i'm starting Finally. it now it's about time like i said <laughs> in my last video. <laughs> but anyways, that's my plan to start tonight. It's actually pretty. I might do some conversions, some oh, not. Do a lot of this pattern <laughs> has Weeks Dye Works, Gentle Arts, Classic Color Works, and Valdani. She's gonna be doing a lot of converting. We have plenty of threads. Can, like all of those threads it. are in this little pattern. The lot. pattern's <laughs> 105 by 132. Like, it's not that big. Um, I've already picked out my fabric for it, too. You can't see it in there, but it's just a, it's a, it's a it's the same neutral. It's my um, witching hour. Mm. Mm -hmm. So this is my start. So, and that is definitely um, relatable to a sampler for a sampler September. Absolutely. Um, so I think it's gonna be great. I cannot wait to stitch an Adam and Eve sampler. I'm sure. It's just calling your name. <laughs> I'm gonna have fun with it though. This is gonna not look like this pattern by the end. No, it's not. Maybe I'll do a conversion <laughs> in really bright colors. Oh, that could be fun. Like a yeah, so of it, Yeah, colors. so it'll make it look more modern. Yes, more your style, because you're like a museum. I don't know, I like primitive stuff, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna convert this to be really bright. I love it. And then convert their skin color. You got a whole project on your hands now. They got big little butts in this one though. Look at it. <laughs> Thank you. Look how big their butts are. I mean, they are very voluptuous. They they are. They're rotund. <laughs> um, so that's my. I'm not. I, I'm just gonna work on this new start and these two for samplers. Perfect. What are you gonna work on? I'm working on Squirrel Sumatra. I'm gonna finish the second page and I'm gonna do some more on my Teresa Kogut, um, Hug All the Cats, and my little work piece. And that's what I'm gonna do for that until the end of the month, I think. I'll try to anyway. I have things coming that may change that plan. We'll see. Tomorrow. You have something coming? Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember. Mm -hmm. um, so now we wanna, let's show Stitchy Kindness first. Okay. So Mama. she doesn't wanna be named. And that's fine. Um, but we're still gonna show you what she got us. First off, oh, some water droplets she's got on here. This is the card she sent. Isn't that beautiful? I it's a it. large square card too. I love it. Look at that. It's beautiful. And she wrote a very lovely um, message yes. in here. Takes up the whole card, a lot of words. That's a lot of time. And it's written in cursive and I appreciate that. I love it. Um, for real. Is beautiful. Um, but she said, don't mention my name. So <laughs> this is not associated with her, right? I don't think so, no. 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 This is where she got the needle minders for us then. I'll put it in the description box to you. Mad for minders? Yes. I love it. It's like the Mad Hatter. <laughs> the Instagram is Wonderland Stitchers and Dreamer, Dreamer Daz, Daz Crafts. I'll put it in the box for them. Um, so mad for them. minders, though. That's where they came from, the cactus and his um, stinks. And then she sent us, 
she makes for her like friends and family, she said. Soaps, she so sent us all these wonderful soaps. Look how colorful. Wait, and here's what we're, we're gonna do a show. A show yeah, they're There's, like so pretty. It looks like cake, like a tiramisu yeah. or something delicious. And this one's like shiny. I don't know if it's picking it up, but it's got like, like shimmering. Fluid. Shimmering. It is fun. This one looks like a sherbet. I don't know how these these things happen, but I'm I'm obsessed with it. Like, like we haven't opened them yet. We are dying to use them. <laughs> I just, just want to bathe because with it. <laughs> I don't believe in just having stuff sit around. Like we're gonna use it, but we waited for this video it's to show you. Victorian Here's what super sweet. She also sent some soap for Hudson, our Dalmatian. It says mm, soap for your Dalmatian. So she sent some for the pups, and I love and it. And these too. <laughs> A little paw print. Are those actually for the dogs? I would uh, assume. I'm gonna go with yes. Well, they might can use. We might can use them for us too. I doubt there's anything in here that's harmful to either one. But we're prints. gonna bathe him with this because <laughs> I don't care. It smells really good. Like if we had smell of vision right now, it'd be like olfactory overload. Oh, All right, let's show our other bit of paw. Yes. We were at Joanne's today. I promised myself I would never get one of these. But we did. But we did. I gotta figure it out. <laughs> and we're gonna do it. This is uh, diamond painting. <laughs> we got two diamond painting kits. So, so mine has a little baby Yoda and the Mandalorian. And obviously Slytherin. I cannot believe we're gonna do this. Apparently it's the full kit. It is. And the, the fabric is actually like that background because I, I may or may not have opened your package to see. <laughs> I promised myself I wouldn't do this. He really did. But it's happening now. But I'm gonna do it now. But are we doing it now or like later? I'm not gonna just start this today. I'm gonna this start. Is take. <laughs> I'm gonna start this because I promised Noah that I would. You did. That's happening. How many times have we said his name so far? I can't count. Have we said it <laughs> enough to keep him watching the whole video? <laughs> I need my shade fan back. I really need it. It's somewhere around this house. Maybe. <laughs> Do we have our Fortnite fabric updates now? Yeah, so before we show what this month's fabric of the month is, which everyone's already been invoiced and it was on our Facebook, but yes. we're just gonna show it anyway. So if you don't wanna see it, don't. I do wanna make a small announcement. <laughs> um, so, yeah. so I just wanted to remind everyone that, you know, whether we think it should be like this or whether we think it should not be like this, we are in a pandemic where most of the world is shut down, right? And so, like with many businesses, we've had to alter a little bit of what we do. So with our collections, our permanent collection, it used to say two to four weeks. Mm -hmm. Now it says four to six weeks, which means four to six weeks because of just trying to get the supply in. Yeah. You know, we've been really lucky to have built a great relationship with some of our distributors, our, our sellers. Um, and we're very lucky and happy that they put us at the top of the list for getting the fabric we need. They know our names. I, know, I don't even have to tell them. I just call and they're like, hi, Christian. I'm like, yeah. oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> and we're doing really good and you know and I keep up with and I'm saying we're doing good because I'm super proud of this throughout a pandemic um, you know I keep up with the other fabric dyers out there I want to stay in line with industry standards and see what they're doing and and as there's some very wonderful companies out there and we've been really blessed to not have to you know cancel a fabric of the month I've seen that happening. We've not had to do that. We're trying so hard for all of you to keep this fabric in your hands and to keep you, you know, busy while you have nothing else to do. And we've not, we've not canceled that. It does run a little later, maybe by a week, but it's just, we're doing as best we can. So when it comes to those, um, online order placements, those online order placements, like the, the collection fabrics, yeah. the permanent lines, We've upped the time and we we stated it on there that it's, you know, four to six weeks. You know, some sellers I know are at month long wait, months long waits, and we're trying our best. I'm really proud that we've been able to deliver this service and mm -hmm. and, and get our products to you. 
I'm just saying this because most people are understanding and understand, but we've gotten a few messages that are crossing, uh, they're getting borderline, not the nicest messages. And you know, we just want, we, we try and keep it completely transparent, everything that's going on. And um, yeah, like, and, and, and it, you know, it really takes us back because we're super nice people what you see on here is what you get is what you're going to get in person if we can ever go out and we meet, leave <laughs> we want to do that we don't want to be shut off from cross stitchers we want to meet everyone and just go hang out and not even be about Fortnite fabrics you know we want to go to retreats i i don't plan on showing up to retreats as Fortnite fabrics <laughs> i, I want to show up as married with stitches and sit down and stitch yeah and and we're kicking. we're really <laughs> like this and so I just wanted to address it so everyone would know what's happening and that I'm personally super proud that we're we're like at the top of the game as far as fabric companies go, I really feel. <laughs> I That's why I said I looked at the industry. I'm not calling anyone out. They're not bad. I love them. I stitch on other people's fabrics as well. I understand how hard it is to get everything and the relationship we had to build to get some of this stuff. Yeah. Like days, we're cry. like we're working really <laughs> hard for you all because I mean a lot of people probably have nothing else to do but stitch right now I couldn't imagine I've not had to quit work this whole time but other people and then when you get home there's nothing to go do so I understand it and I understand the frustration you want it now and six weeks seems like forever when you're not you know out doing stuff out doing stuff but <laughs> it's just coming. it those are gonna be that is just we have no choice but to do it that much it has nothing to do with the volume of business we have or anything like that it simply has to do with getting the stuff in most dyers just like us use weigart mm -hmm. that comes from germany that it it's not an american made product <laughs> and everyone loves that that's where the demand is for what is on fabric you know mm -hmm. we can't we're not using Charles Craft, which is something that's made in America because no one has the demand for that. Um, also, I don't know if they have as many options. You met the owner of Charles Craft, didn't you? His granddaughter, I think. His granddaughter? I they're here. Yeah. <laughs> we considered calling them. Yep. <laughs> but anyway, Zweigart, it, I wouldn't want to change the product because what you've gotten used to is Zweigart base. And it comes from it Germany. It takes a while. So there's my, I'll get off my soapbox and we'll have fun now again. Now you're getting philosophical. Oh, skirt. <laughs> I'm going to get ran over by so many buses later. <laughs> so uh, September's fabrics, we have our mushroom. <laughs> This is burgundy truffle. Oh my goodness gracious. Let me hold it back Walk here. to the back. There we go. No, keep going. No. It's still fluorescent. It's still fluorescent beige. There we go. That's Ish. Me. It's, it's actually really it's quite actually beautiful. really nice. We're gonna tap the screen. There we go. Now you can see it. Woo! That's very nice. I love okay. it. And, and should the, the flower. Other one, the colorful option this month. Mm, I'm white. <laughs> it's morning glory. And touch and great. Perfect, yes. So these are them together as one. <laughs> I love them. So this is for September. These will be going out in a couple weeks. Um, whenever our shipment decides it wants Speaking to show up. Speaking of being <laughs> white, do you, um, have we discussed your DNA results? No, because we were going to wait for yours, I thought. <gasps> oh, that's right. <laughs> we're going to wait for mine. Never mind. Christian got his uh, genetic DNA results back. <sighs> I need a DNA. I don't need a DNA test. I need a paternity test at this point. <laughs> he don't belong to his mama and daddy at all. I'm gonna say. <laughs> yes, we're waiting for mine to come out. I forgot. I forgot. Mm, yeah. Okay, that'll be many weeks away because I've not even weeks. received the kit yet. You've not even bought the kit. <laughs> Why didn't you just let me leave it? I've not received it yet. Uh, my bus has just turned into a semi. So, uh, <laughs> family, you all enjoy your Fortnite. <laughs> Look, I, I love it. I love it. Doesn't it just feel like it? I feel like I'm sitting in your living room right now. That's like family time. I love it. <laughs> well, they've got a full 30 minutes of us. Almost. We've got to get to 30. It's 29 and 45 seconds. We can make it 30. As soon as it gets to 30, we're going to hit stop. 
Um, we have enjoyed all of your comments. Thank you all for voting and contributing to the channel. And we will see you all soon. Have a great fortnight. Bye.